Welcome to this portion of the MS-720 exam overview. This is the configure and manage Microsoft Teams phone for voice users portion of the overview. Uh, my name is Ronnie Yamoga and I'm a technical specialist here at Microsoft. Now let's look at the breakdown of the topics that are going to be addressed in this portion of the study guide. So there are four main topics. Uh, we're going to be going into detail on these in the next few slides. Um, so this portion of the exam is going to be measuring for your practical skills. Right? So you know what to do, but you also know how to do it. Right? That's what this is measuring for. So if you've taken some of our certification exams in the past, uh, you'll know that labs are usually included in there. So this is the portion of the exam uh, where those types of questions are going to be coming from. So you want to make sure that if you don't already have a demo tenant, uh, I would suggest that for this exam and for maybe other exams in the future that you get one for yourself and start managing and configuring these features uh, that we're going to be going over um, in the next few slides. Right, so knowing what to do is important, but knowing how to do it is also going to be very important. So this portion is going to be making up about 15 to 20 percent of the exam. So you want to make sure that your practical knowledge is just as good as your theoretical knowledge, because that's what you're going to need to pass questions from this portion of the exam. So the first topic is dealing with enabling users for voice in Microsoft Teams. And it's going to be testing you on your ability to assign both licenses and policies to users. So for these types of questions, you need to familiarize yourself with the process of acquiring licenses in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and assigning them to your users um, in the Microsoft 365 Center as well, as well as creating and assigning policies to users in the Teams Admin Center. So for the first couple of items listed here, assigning phone system licenses and assigning calling plan licenses, you want to make sure you're spending time in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and going through both processes a couple of times just to familiarize yourself with the interface and how to do that within that interface. And then for assigning dial plans, you want to make sure you're going to your team's admin center and creating maybe a couple of dial plans in there and assigning those to users in your tenant as well. The last item here, uh, assigning phone numbers, you want to make sure that you're paying special attention to any prerequisites for assigning phone numbers to users in teams. Are there any prerequisites uh, that you need to meet before you can actually assign a number to a user? If so, what are they? And then are there any differences between assigning a phone number to a user that's been enabled for direct routing versus operator connect versus calling plans? If there are any differences, make sure you note those. And again, make sure you're familiarizing yourself with the interface. Make sure you remember which prompts did you select, which buttons did you press um, so that when these types of questions come up in a lab, for example, you will know exactly which button to select in order to enable a certain feature. Continuing with enabling users for voice in Microsoft Teams, the last three items here, again, all are having to do with practical knowledge. So go to your Teams Admin Center and make all these three configurations, right? Assign an emergency address, assign a calling policy, and then assign a usage location. Repeat it a few times just so that you're familiar with the interface because this is what this segment of the exam is measuring for. Do you know exactly which buttons to press? Do you know exactly where to go to make that configuration? So make sure you're doing that a few times just to get yourself familiar with the interface because that's what this segment of the exam is going to be testing for. For this segment of the exam, you want to make sure you're familiar with PowerShell commands. So if you've taken some of our certification exams in the past, you will know that sometimes a multiple choice question will include four different PowerShell commands and you'll be asked to select 
which one is the right one for enabling a specific feature. So those are the types of questions that this segment of the exam is going to be asking. All right, so you want to make sure you're comfortable with PowerShell syntax, you know how to structure a PowerShell command, and you know which PowerShell command enables the features listed here. You also want to make sure you understand how to assign a voice routing policy to a user who has been enabled for direct routing. So understand the structure of a voice routing policy, what are the different components that make up a voice routing policy, and then how do you assign that policy to a user. Make sure you understand how to do that using both PowerShell and through uh, the user interface in the Teams Admin Center. This next segment is dealing with enabling per user calling features. So these are policies that you will be creating in the Teams Admin Center and then assigning them to users either through the user interface or using PowerShell. So you want to make sure the only way to pass these types of questions is to practice over and over again, just to make sure you're familiar with the interface. So go into your Teams Admin Center, configure group call pickup, configure call delegation, configure call forwarding, and configure simultaneous ring, just so that you understand the interface and the specific steps that you need to take to make any of these configurations, right? This is again, testing for that practical knowledge. Do you know how to do it? So if you don't know what any of these features are, I've included a link down here so that you can read more about them. But after reading more about them and understanding what exactly they are, in order to pass the types of questions that this segment of the exam is addressing, you have to do it multiple times just so that you're familiar with the interface. Right? So continuing with enabling per user calling features, we have two items here. Uh, the first one deals with enabling and configuring audio conferencing. So for this specific item, the important thing is to understand the sequence, the steps that you need to take to enable audio conferencing for users in your organization. And then the next thing, since this segment of the exam is testing for your practical knowledge, after you know what to do, then go to your team's admin center and actually do it. Right? You don't need to set up a complicated uh, demo tenant in order to accomplish any of these steps listed here. Um, you set up your E5 tenant, or if you have an E3, you can get uh, audio conferencing licenses as an add-on to that, and then go through the steps listed here. So assign license to your users, um, you know, assign communication credits if you anticipate the need for them, right? Um, get service numbers, and then assign a service number to a conference bridge. And if you need to, you know, set the default and alternate languages for your audio conferencing bridge and then assign dial in uh, numbers to users if you need to. So go through each one of these steps here, um, understand, you know, the sequence um, and you should be fine passing questions related to audio conferencing, um, dealing with your practical knowledge. And then the last one is assigning a dial out policy. So again, uh, this you're going to have to do in the Teams Admin Center. If you don't already have any dial out policies created, uh, go ahead and create one and then assign it to a user in your tenant, both through the Teams Admin Center and also using PowerShell. Because again, since this is testing for your practical knowledge, it could be either or. You know, you could have a question, a multiple choice question um, that is specifically asking you for a PowerShell commandlet that's going to be used to assign a dial out policy, or it could just be, you know, um, a picture of the team's admin center and you're asked, you know, um, what should you select next in order to assign a dialogue policy to a user. So make sure you understand both processes.